<laughs> we got we got thirteen. Wait, what is it? Uh, Twenty three minutes. Oh yeah, let's play, uh, some. let's play some Christmas Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, wait, 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 let me find a Christmas uh, a, a Christmas. Song. Aaron uh, Aaron can't be here. She's sick at home. She doesn't. Want, she doesn't you know what we should yeah. do? We should we should get a gal on stage because it's been very male heavy. Well, I was going to bring up Rob Schraub. Well, s- s- same difference. Rob Schraub to the stage. What's that? Stay here. I was going to bring up Shrab. Shrab, 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 But, yeah. Just because it's Christmas and... No, it's Christmas. It's a special show. I just wanted to end the year. You know. Hello. I heard you out there. I almost got killed by an SUV with you once. I was driving with one arm, too. Like, I was just... I did... I think I just went... Yeah, <laughs> like that. I just went, I think it was just totally like I was driving like. And you and, was, and <laughs> you know, you, you know that if we were on Melrose, go, go, passing Highland, you know that that means like there's a statistical ninety five percent chance that we were going to some shitty ass pitch bar. meeting. Like like or, like. Or, uh, it was at night, wasn't it? I thought. It was no, like, I was bro- it was broad daylight. Oh, okay, I, I, all you, right. You, thought... Like like like. like, like there's a good chance we weren't on our way to make entertainment history. Right. Like, we were going to hear a fucking... If that's like, the like case, have somebody we, tell us, we got the rights to an article about this guy who turned a slinky into a car. Uh, and we would have died. We could have been meeting John Lovitz to go meet uh, Bob Greenblatt uh, to pitch uh, his uh, sitcom for yeah. HBO. Uh, <laughs> Shrab, a Christmas get, uh, wish? Do you have a wish for this Christmas? Um... Well, I'm going to miss you guys. You guys yeah. are going to Scotland. Where are you going to be? You're going somewhere else. Oh, I'm no, going you... to San Francisco to 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 hang out with uh, Visit Kate's... Visit the homeland. Yes. To hang out uh, with Kate's uh, 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 sister and her husband. <laughs> <laughs> he smirked because he thought I was going to do some gay joke. <laughs> you said the homeland. <laughs> I know. You said the homeland. I did that for you because you... <laughs> We're, we're so old that it's like the world doesn't even respect that anymore. It doesn't, yeah. like, <laughs> known each other 25 years or something. So you thought I was going to go, ha, San Francisco, <laughs> fag. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's within the realm of possibility. You never know with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, let's, That's not uh, really a wish, though. I I hope you guys uh, are safe on your. You wish that all the snow could be balls. All right. <laughs> all right. Not true. Spencer, I, I've looked through my Christmas playlist and I've tried to find the uh, the, the most spooky uh, s- Christmas song I have to to give you the uh, uh, the intro music to. That's good. Are you ready? Yeah. Sure. Right. Let's play some D and D. Sorry. I'm um, here. I could help Dungeon Master. Quark, what do you do? You want to roll the dice? I could do that. So, no, no. Rob, you'll be Mulrain Sedana. That's, that's character. Aaron's character. And, then and Duncan will be uh, will be Krista Berg. Krista Berg. Kumail's character. All right. I, Shit. And uh, yeah. is he still messed up from that last time? Char- oh. Character sheets are dispensed. Spencer, cool. Spooky Christmas. Oh, just, oh, shit! I don't have glasses. Spooky Christmas. It doesn't matter, Rob. It, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be uh, hard. This is great. The dice are rolled. <laughs> <laughs> the die is cast. I fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, uh, last time on Harmon Town. <laughs> Should they do it like spooky Christmas? No, no. I, can you can you structure it like Paul's lyrics? Sharpie remembered <laughs> for the third time. That he had a hawk. He talked to Mitch Hurwitz. I had a good time. I guess I can't. I guess I can. After pulling off Dark Admiral Darkstar's dark head, our heroes were now attacking his metallic golem. As Sharpie attacked from the inside on what he could swear was a heart, Mulrain attempted to melt the metal monster's steel skin with their blazing armor. After their individual attempts failed, the heroes outside the golem began attacking the head in unison, sawing and cleaving at its neck in true decapitative fashion. 
Meanwhile, Sharpie and Avenger cracked wise and shrunk the glowing red heart node before diving into two holes that were revealed to be the golem's legs. Down there they spied glowing stones and Sharpie shrunk one because he was on a roll shrinking stuff and it caused the golem to shudder and the stones glow to dim. It seemed as if it was just a matter of time until the golem was disassembled. That's all, I don't know. That sounds forced. That's cool. I'm yeah. having a wonderful that was Christmas awesome. time. So you guys know what to do now? No. 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 No, not no. really. Why would they? That doesn't Spencer, make sense. Spencer, uh, where am I, Quark, uh, located right now? You, as well as uh, Duncan and uh, Rob, you guys are sitting, imagine sitting on the shoulders of this giant robot man. Are, are we still saw, sawing his head off? Yeah, you you two are sawing at his head with a wire saw, and you are hacking at it with uh, your sword. sword. All right. I, how far away uh, through the neck are we right now? You know... Uh, <laughs> About a third on each side, so there's about a third left. How big is this guy's neck? He's pretty the giant, giant I, metal man. I take, I take my pretty big neck. I take my I, mighty great sword, pull it back out, and give it one more big slash. One more. Okay. <laughs> he resents your aud- audacity. All right. Well, you're not Robert Redford in the natural. You as, don't know that you're gonna as, spark this scoreboard. Dan, as F- Frederick the Great said, "Ladas, ladas, toujours ladas." Did he? That's <laughs> audacious, audacious, always audacious. I, I heard that Robert the OK said that, and Robert the Great uh, uh, took that. Wait, wait who, who did you credit that with? <laughs> Robert, Robert the, the, the Amazing. Robert the... Uh... So, yeah. Like Robert the Amazing, you swing your sword. Did he have one? Whatever. Move past it, Spencer. Dealing, you're not dealing damage in this case, but you shear the final bits of metal off this thing's head. Its head falls off and yeah. clings to the Whoa. ground. Merry yeah. Christmas! Whoa. Yes. Whoa. The head is off. It's a robot's chest. And that's enough. Simply sawing a big robotic golem's head. That was fun. What, what's in his neck? Yeah, what's in his neck? We look in his neck. You see a floating, glowing stone. It's glowing with a, a topaz we light. Should, we should, I, I, I yell should. down ironically and sarcastically to Sharpie. It, it looks like it's heart. <laughs> <laughs> You're down in the We should foot. grab that topaz thing. I scramble up. To, I mean, what do, what do I perceive? What do I know? You're, you're in a foot. So when the head came off, you could hear the shearing of metal and then like a, a shaft of light kind of going into, the, into the, the neck hole there. I vomit on the thing. <laughs> you sure do. I put my fingers in. I hold his hair. I just let it out. You guys are real friends. Let it all out. Let it all out. You guys don't understand. You guys are not there for him. You're not there for him. Like I am. How does he have to sit in the back seat? (laughs) Are you okay? Are you all right? So is it? it, it, Does my character understand? Maybe. Could I? If I were to go toward the light. Sure, but I gotta. Were you vomiting into the neck hole? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you look up towards this light. And then you get you get vomit all splattered around you. I mean, you guys get what's happening. I don't know how to explain it any better. Yeah, did, did Krista Berg just vomit all, all over Sharpie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Krista Berg can just vomit voluntarily? No, he shoved his fingers down his mouth. Yeah. Right. All right. Fingers? I don't know. No, he's the bulimic. Well, there you go. Now, how does what does it do to the floating thing in there? Like, how does the vomit interact with the glowing? Oh, you were trying to hit the glowing thing. Yeah, I'm trying to see okay. if it's hot. Well, that's... Wait, what? <laughs> just, just, just let him go with this. This is actually a really good idea. <laughs> like, does the vomit sizzle? Well, yeah. How does it interact? Okay, okay. It's the only way to detect chem- temperature. I, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not the only. It's it's, the, it's certainly the most efficient. Before, before you answer, I, I start I start peeing on it. 
But I'm a, I'm a lady, so I have to hike, hike up my skirt or something? What do I do? Yeah. I'll hike your skirt up for you. Oh, hike up my skirt, and then I just kind of... I, I'm standing on the shoulder, and where the head fell, I just pee off the shoulder down to where the head is. I just start, start peeing on the side Are of her head. Are we seeing any steam coming up? No. Okay, okay. so well. you guys the only, you guys both missed your peas. <laughs> So, Wait, did you roll? What about a, our cues? I rolled it. You rolled a pee check. I rolled it. I, it's a dexterity, but yeah. Um, but but, Christberg, however, does vomit directly onto the surface of this uh, crystal. <laughs> it, it's not it's, all for not. <laughs> it doesn't sizzle really. Um, it doesn't sizzle. Am I what way am I hot. emerging from the neck and seeing this thing? Oh, is that was are you gonna Yeah, you were clambering up, huh? Yeah. I'd like to. Yeah, yeah, you clamber up. Uh it's it's a bit tough because you're all slick with vomit. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense, I'm sorry. I don't mean to something puke on this thing or did he puke on me? Like, so, something dribbled off. It was off floating of in the middle of this neck hole. So he puked into the neck hole. Some of it got on this crystal. Uh-huh. The rest of it splattered down. Where's the down. crystal relative to the golem's body? It's essentially floating, hovering in mid-neck hole. Mid-neck hole. Yeah, yeah. Is it within reach? It's like its brain. Uh, I know how much you hate it when I try to get... <laughs> well, why would the brain be in his neck hole? Yeah, why? Well, because his head's off now, but this thing remains. It's yeah. just it's floating mid-neck hole. Yeah, mid neck hole. Could be his Adam's apple. Someone Where his head would be, or or down in the neck. No, like right, Wouldn't right he? at the neck oh. collar. Yeah, so, guys, it... I think it's the carotid amethyst. <laughs> <laughs> it's a topaz. If I know my golem ring. All right. Um. So you are you up out out, out of the neck? Now? I'm, yep. I'm up in the neck area. You, you burst forth. I'd like to touch this topaz vomit. Right, that was your question. Um, the whole the the Sahola is about a five foot radius, so you'd have to stretch like pretty pretty far to reach that thing. I I, I extend him a hand and let him lean out so he can touch the topaz. All right, unless I cast, uh, I don't have it. Why don't you just cast teamwork? <laughs> it's fine, it's the greatest spell of all. Anyway, working together, you manage to reach out and grasp this uh, this uh, power crystal of some sort. You As grab it. It. It, it. it feels like it's uh, being held in place with like a magnetic kind of force, but as you grab it, it kind of goes away. Like it won't, you know, get stuck there. How big is this thing? Uh, like uh, pretty small, like maybe the size of an eyeball. Oh, he well, puked uh, on it, but it's the size of an eyeball. Yeah, that's why it didn't like. Yeah, he only puked on it with a little bit of puke. The rest of uh, it was uh, free to splatter on. A it. human eyeball, right? You shrunk it. Different, sh- different thing. Not the heart. Not the heart. Oh. Topaz. So is, is the golem Topaz still? Is the, heart. is the golem moving still, or is it? What's uh, it doing while we do this to it? I mean, this hasn't taken too long, I guess. Vomiting, inducing vomiting is only a few seconds. Uh, That's true. It, it, it's been a bit momentarily stunned by by the loss of its head. You don't. It hasn't started moving since the, this. Let's fuck up those topaz, man. Yeah, can we just grab the topaz and throw it? Throw well, it away. He grabbed it, so you're you grabbed it. Am I holding onto it? Is it like holding my weight or is no, it... no? That's the thing. Oh, I got it. Yeah, you got it. I, 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 I put I, it. I, I put pull it in him my... back in to the shoulder area. I put it in my uh, pocket. Okay, that happens. You you pull each other in and you pocket the thing. Is the golem still moving? Is it still? It hasn't moved since being decapitated. <laughs> what's What's funny over here? Nothing. Come on. No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Are you simply having a wonderful Christmas time? It's, yeah, I'm, I'm, I just think it's fun. I, uh, I, I climbed down his back. Like, is he wearing clothing of some sort? Or is it his skin? Or what's, no, what's he got? he's got, like, oh, metal, it's, it's metal Is shell. he wearing a ladder? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, now we know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great question, Rob. I, I slide down the, his back and grab, like, grab him around the waist and just kind of, like, as a joke, kind of look up and start kind of dry humping him from behind. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I get I get out of it, and I so now am I in the uh, the keep the where we fought Admiral Darkstar? Or am I? Yep, the level right before the level you were. Uh, yeah, this is the level with all those bodies, I guess, all the blood buckets. Yeah, I, I walk over to a window and I look out uh, of it. You do that. I, uh, you can see just like snow and whiteness. It's snow? all cold. Yeah. Can I? Climb down and push the go- golem over. 
Uh, yeah. Let's wait, see. wait, wait. I'm still up here. Oh, I'm sorry. Come down. Let's go down together. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I, we walk down together. I, I, I stay on him. Together. I stay yeah. on him because I want to be on him when he goes over. Right, that would right. be funny because like, I'm still fucking him. You oh, push God. one an- an- ankle, I'll push the other. So we push over the golem. In unison, you push the golem's ankles, and at first it begins to creak and then totter a bit, maybe? And then topple, in fact, topple over in a pile of clanging, clanging metal. <laughs> Happens? Happens. Okay. I touch the frosted glass That's at the great. window I'm standing in as I oh. look out at the fresh, new fallen snow. And I think about family. <laughs> and I think about a little baby born in a manger. <laughs> I start telling everybody how Christmas comes from mushrooms. <laughs> you make several cogent points. <laughs> I examine. <laughs> I examine the room for doors, uh, other ways of, uh, of egress. The only uh, way through this door is a large metal hatch in the floor. I examine it. It's, uh, it's large and metal. Krista Berg, you're a rogue. You're good at doors. Get over here and uh, try to open this thing. Okay. Uh, I go over to the door and uh, I vomit on it. <laughs> no, that's stupid. I, I, <laughs> I don't know why. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait to see it. where he's going with this. <laughs> Does it sizzle? No, I use it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way I know things are hot. <laughs> I, I, um, I hate to come to your house, man. <laughs> for, for you don't want me to cook for you, man. No, no, no. Hey, du- hey, Doug, are the pancakes ready? Hey. <laughs> hey, get the door. I think my grandmother's coming. <laughs> uh, let the dog out. <laughs> okay. I'm expecting a package. No, no, I... <laughs> <laughs> I use what I use my thieving skills to analyze the door to make sure it's not trapped or to see if they, if, if if it's a trap door. Nice. It's certainly not trapped, although you're not quite sure how it opens. Uh, There's got to be stuff you'd say when you were in, in, in investigating and examining. <laughs> oh, this door! It seems like a classic big heavy metal door. It doesn't yeah. appear to be trapped as many of the doors that I've seen before. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What does the thief say? It looks, the door's fine, everybody. Let's pull it up. All right. let's, let's do that. Let's grab it. Grab that door. Let's so we, we, I try to pull the door up. You try, but you fail. It, it seems like it's some sort of sliding rather than a swinging uh, actuating slide, hinge. Slide the door. Slide. I slide the door. You slide the door, and below it you see only lava. I puke on it. Yeah. It sizzles. Uh, it sizzles. We, All right. You ended up Is it hot lava? Is it hot? Yeah, yeah, very. Okay, good. Now we know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told you guys. Yeah. Puke sizzles when it's such as hard things. I'm on your side. <laughs> so we, 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 we beat Admiral Darkstar, right? We beat him. We came to his place. We kicked his ass. We're done. Right, we're walking around. We're looking through lava doors, but the truth is, we we beat this guy. We won. We we. You want to celebrate? Well, I know. I, I'm just saying. Like, like, what if we just said to you three weeks later? No, uh, they were all found dead. Uh, all right. <laughs> well, well, let's not do let's that. Let's not say that. There's more to do. There's more to do. I mean, I, I guess idea. we do have to make our way out of this building. Okay, right? Fine. Well, it just seems like Are a little. You, Spencer, the only way out of this building is the lava. Door on the floor? Are there any lava boats? No, there's no lava boats. <laughs> yeah, that's the only roll. thing. The only other thing is a staircase, but it goes up ways. It doesn't go down ways. I, I go up the staircase and check it out. I go that's, up. That's that uh, that floor where you saw Admiral Darkstar. There's a dark pillar of uh, black blackened crystal mm. and a big hole in the floor where uh, that robot arm came yeah. out. Yeah. So what else? Are we sure Admiral Doctor is dead? I mean, who's sure of anything, man? <laughs> I don't think he's. Right. I don't think he's dead. I think this is all. Only a big... one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there a body? There's no other. No other. There's no windows, doors in this room. There's just. Stairs I mean, there's going. windows. Yeah, empty we windows. Saw, there's snow outside. Yeah. We, well, so the, we just can we go through the window and and down into the snow? And you can try. Yeah. There's a servant laying on the floor, unconscious. No, no, there isn't. 
Is there a servant on the floor laying unconscious? I mean, I, I run over to a possible unconscious servant and I rouse him or her. Wait, why do you rouse? Wait, well, you're going to wake him up right away? Let's puke on him. Yeah, okay. yeah. That what, if, never what if he's hot? <laughs> I want to I go over to one of these windows. How far down is it outside? It's uh, several hundred feet. How about, I, how about how feather tall fall? Is he? How about how feather fall? I have 150 feet of rope, it says on here. Yeah. So we can use the rope to climb down. Are we trying to get out of here? Uh, that, that's my instinct. <laughs> Sure. So we push, I take the servant's unconscious body and I push him out of the window. You, you don't see the servant. There's no servant. Uh, no. There no. is no servant, sir. There, there certainly was. He's gone. I mean, yeah. People oh. move. It's crazy. I jump through the window and cast Featherfall. All right, that happens. And I, I climb down Wait. on my rope. I have a hundred feet of rope well, and I tie it onto you. Oh, great. You're the only source of casting feather fall on people and you, you're the first one out the door. Oh, I can, you, I can cast like it on them? The guy who builds parachutes. <laughs> it's like... I didn't know I could even cast it on other people. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's okay, can we all we're good. Jump together? Christa Berg, throw, throw Sharpie the rope, bring him back up, and let's try this again. Yeah. Back to one, everybody. Yeah. yeah. But I, I'm, why don't we just go down my rope? Yeah, and, and then go down my rope. It's several got, hundred feet. Well, I've got uh, 100 of And those. I have 150 feet. We tie right. the rope let's together. Let's just get Sharpie back up here, make him feet. build us magic parachutes. Well, I gotta climb up oh, but he's my rope the... and then your rope. Well, we, got, we, don't, we don't have enough rope to even get him back up here. Well, he's feather falling. He's not falling too fast. I make a lasso and I throw I throw it down to catch him as he feather falls. <laughs> Are we gonna swing from him falling? Yeah. Okay. All right. You throw him the rope and uh, you catch the rope if you want to. I mean, if you don't, it's like fuck it. Uh, yeah, I, I'll catch it. Thank you. <laughs> So we pull him back up because he's got to cast feather fall on us. He, he feels as light as a feather. So we pull being... him, pull him up back to the. Well, I, I don't want to. I don't want to go back up. I... Come up for two well, seconds you, and feather like, fall. Oh, you're the guy that can get us all down. You okay. left us hanging out here. Okay. Okay. And also, guys, I, I, I turn them and say, "Look, uh, it's it's getting late and uh, it's, it's Christmas time, uh, and uh, I feel like you know, we don't know whether." Whether or not the sun will come out tomorrow, whether Admiral Darkstar is going to come get us, so it's, it's kind of praying for some miracle to happen right now to to end this show. I cut Kamel's character's penis off. <laughs> now I throw up. <laughs> Does it sizzle? Mm, yes. <laughs> yeah. That, Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess that's it. Eh? Thank you, everybody. Ha Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> Don't forget where we were in this game. <laughs> <It'd> be... <laughs> We're going to be a couple of weeks before we see you again. Yeah, we're going to be gone for a while. Thank you so much for enjoying us throughout this year. We'll see you in the new year. Let's thank Merry Christmas. Anatoly, Rob Schraub, Duncan Trussell, Spencer Crittenden, Dan, who sang the Nat King Cole uh, song very wonderfully. I'm Jeff Davis, your comptroller. One more time for the mayor of Harmontown. Dan Harmon. Thank you for a year, another year of audio, audio fortitude from Zach. And did you thank Zach and and Dustin, our producer? And uh, I don't know who else is doing shit I don't know. back here. I will say, in a time of gratefulness and gratitude, I'm very happy to be a part of the show. And you guys, the people that come here live, uh, all of you listening, the people that come here live to the show are the coolest and most uh, wonderful people in the world. And I, I hope uh, one day we can see you too. Thank you all. Merry Thank Christmas. You. Happy well, holidays. Done comics for giving us a home. Thank you. Thank you.